So Bali is a favorite destination for many people around the world and there are far too many reasons as to why it's such a favorite destination. Uh, they have amazing beaches, captivating landscapes, exotic food and there is so much to see and do in this island paradise and that is why you can't help but find people flocking together in this region of Indonesia. to cover all of its amazing sites and therefore for our five days of visiting across the island these are the popular spots that we chose to visit during our stay. That is the Mount Batur volcano and that is the lake. Can anything get better? Then this kind of a view and lunch. Hmm? Oh. So what are we eating? We are having mee goreng, nasi goreng, crackers, tempeh, chicken, uh, that sweet potato fries and chicken is incoming. Right? Turkish coffee or other coffees, it's um, texture is quite uh, smooth, but then it's very bitter. <laughs> so Rashi was going to stick with water as his choice. I think I will go with ginseng coffee. It was really nice. Uh, the taste was really nice. Our, very well balanced. I think for me at least, for my balance. We are going to see the cat that poops coffee. is extremely popular and it is an amazing place to get up close with monkeys. In fact there are more than thousand monkeys in this sanctuary and you also have three temples. I think one should keep at least half a day for this place because it's quite big, it's quite huge, there are plenty of walkways and it takes quite a lot of time to explore the entire place. That's what I'm really actually towards Bulandanu Pratan. Bulandanu Pratan happens to be one of the most prominent sites in uh, Bali. Okay. Bali te ashle, uh, ek na asha is next to impossible. Tanalot is a 
set of three temples. The main temple, it sits atop an impressive rock formation and it is accessible only during low tides. And it is not only that the temple is unique, but then uh, in and around Tana Lot, the coastline, it is extremely photogenic. popularized Bali but it also heavily popularized the Padang Padang beach. It is this tiny beach with the turquoise waters and rocky formations all around but clamping down and clamping up it takes a heavy toll on a knees so please be careful. And uh, this is the Pandava beach. So Pandava beach is this really pretty white sand beach with crystal clear water and you don't even have that kind of a crowd here like you get to see in Kuta. And if you happen to be here, definitely do check out the Rooster Fish Beach Club. They serve some amazing food. shopping there are plenty of street stores and handmade products available and when it comes to nightlife there are plenty of bars and nightclubs around which are extremely budget friendly so i think that's all and this sums up my trip in Bali. i had an amazing time and i hope this will help you to plan your trip to Bali.